Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, myself Ananda and today we will see how to invoke a HTTP endpoint from MuleSoft Composer on POST method. So let's start. So before start, let, let me show you the HTTP endpoint. Basically, I have created one simple MuleSoft API and uh, this endpoint I am sending a uh, request message, simple request just message in JSON format and in response it will show me that whether the request message is matching with some business rule or not. So I will just let me click the send button to test it from postman. Okay, so you can see that the same thing I'm getting in response. In addition, I'm getting one match field, so which is telling me whether this criteria, whatever I am sending, is matching with the business rule or it is not matching with the business rule. So let us now move to composer flow and let us configure the composer flow to invoke this particular HTTP endpoint. So so now I am in the MuleSoft Composer uh, workspace. Let me create a new flow from scratch. Uh, it's opening up. Okay. Let me give the name as here, this demo HTTP post, since I'm only going to show the post method usage. So let's save it and let click the let configure the trigger event so just taking an google sheet as my triggering event so what i'm trying to do is that i will whenever there is a row update on a specific google sheet let me show you that sheet so in this google sheet whenever i'm going to update any of the value of this row uh, it will trigger the flow and in turn this flow will invoke the http endpoint that i have shown you uh, from postman and we will gather that response post i mean whatever response i'm going to get from that rest api i will going to gather it in the mules of composer workflow and finally we are going to write that road to this demo http worksheet so that is what we are going to do so let me first click on this google sheet and this is my connection already created with this google sheet I am going to use uh, this updated row event, spreadsheet name, I'm going to take this, and worksheet name, I'm going to take test, and then I'm going to make it mark it as true, so that if even if I insert a new row, that will also trigger this event, or sorry, that will also trigger this composer workflow. Now I have to select the field, so I will select all four fields. These are the four columns I have defined in my Google Sheet worksheet uh, uh, workspace. So this is the uh, four columns I have selected all. So now I'm going to add. So my trigger event uh, configuration is done. Now I'm going to configure a HTTP uh, connect. So this is a HTTP connector. I'm going to create a new HTTP connection to show you how to do this. So I have to give a name. So let me give this as HTTP. And I'm going to use authentication. Any, any, I mean, I don't have any authorization or it is not a secure URL for demo purpose. I'm using a simple HTTP URL. So I'm just selecting basic authentication and let me give the base URL. So base URL means the common part of that URL. So I can have many uh, endpoints defined under this particular HTTP host or this host part so whatever is the common for all those endpoints i am going to use that for the creating this connection so if i have one api or uh, i am following a specific http endpoint pattern 
then whatever is common i'm going to define in the connection so that same connection can be used for multiple endpoints so that will increase my reusability factor so let's move on here so i will put the base url and username password since actually my endpoint is not expecting any authentication so i can put any dummy value just to fill up this uh, specific configuration now next i uh, whatever i will going to provide this is just to test this connection that whether the whatever i'm configuring that endpoint connection is working properly or not so mulesoft composer will use that for testing purpose so let me explain it further so if this in along with this post method if i also create a get method i can use the same connection for both the methods for post invoking the post method as well as get method but here i am giving post because i want this mules of connection first time to test the connection and to confirm that everything is working as expected so that's why i'm giving these values and i'm going to give match i have to add a request header i need to um, because i need to mention that what type of or what is the payload type i am sending so it is application and slash json that means i'm sending a json data and i have to send the request body so let me configure the request body so i will just copy paste it from the postman and some hard coded value I'm providing because this is just to test that the connection configuration is working properly. So, wait for some time, it is testing that whether with all this information it can create the connection. Yes, so it has now the connection has been created. Now I have to define the action. So, when I'm defining the actual action, I am sending that this is a request. That means I'm going to send a request uh, i am going to use the post method so here actually i am defining the actual action so if i mean earlier when i was defining this connector i select post method but that is only to test that the connection is working properly or not composer was testing that first time that the connection was uh, properly configured and now the action at runtime this is going to use this configuration. So when my flow will be in active state or in running state, so after the RDA trigger event, when the flow control will come over here, it will check this particular field and decide whether to uh, invoke the HTTP endpoint on gate method or post method or put method. So now I'm giving post because in actual also, I want that post method to be uh, invoked. So in path, I will give the, un, I mean the URI. So the common part is already I defined under this connection. Now, whatever specific endpoints I'm going to call that I have to provide under the path section. Now I will give the header here also. I have to define the header as content slash type. And I will give the value as application slash JSON. So let me check from here also. Yes, application slash JSON content hyphen time. So let me change it. Type and it will be application slash JSON match it once again yeah so now i have to add a example request so again i am going to give it from here let me go to body and i'm going to get from here so let me paste it save it and based on my uh sample i mean whatever uh, uh, sample request message i have sent 
based on that now it will create the fields input parameters or input fields so i have to select all the fields so that i can provide some uh, so, I mean, it is allowing me to send the values or set the input request message at runtime. So now what I will do, I will define the value from my, uh, this, from these columns, from my Google sheet, uh, Google worksheet columns. So let me give the ID, map the ID with this ID, then map the name with the uh, Google from this, from this name. then state and then this sugar level so i have mapped all four. so not necessarily that your request message json para key values and the uh, uh, worksheet column value name needs to be same you can use any name over here you can use any name on that uh, uh, in that uh, json structure here you have the ability to map value from one application to another field so that way composer will pass value from one application to another application so now i have defined so in the sample output i'm going to get that uh, output value i mean it will show me what is a sample it's still i think it's coming uh, i think i okay Sorry, I have to add a sample response. That's why it's not showing. So I have to give the sample response also. So composer can understand what will be the structure of the response. Response that it is going to get from the HTTP endpoint. So yes, now it's already populated. What will be the sample output of this particular action? So next I am going to add that Google sheet where I'm going to insert that data. This connection is already created. I will select create row. So for Google sheet, I, I'm planning to create one more video where I will, I will show how to create the connection with Google sheet and we'll discuss Google sheet more detail in within, within the context of MuleSoft Composer. So now for the time being, let us quickly configure it. So I will take this tab and I have to select column. So I only created these three columns. So I will select all these three columns. And now it will allow me to map from HTTP response to this worksheet column, what value I need to map. So I need to map what should come under ID, what should come under name and what should come under match column. So I will, what I will do, I will go under this HTTP uh, request and for ID, I will take this and then I will come from, uh, for match, I will take this value and for name, I will take this, not from the, uh, Bullshit, I will take the name from the HTTP response. So everything I am taking from the HTTP response. Now let me save this. The workflow is created. We can now test it. So for testing purpose, I will update some value from here and then we'll see how it works. So we insert composer. Let's click on test. Okay, let me change the state. Let's see. So the event is supposed to get triggered because I have changed the updated the uh, row. I mean updated row of the triggering event. Okay, it's processing now. Okay, the test finished. So let me go to this demo HTTP. Okay, now you can see there is one value got inside. So let me go to here. If I test one more time, let me add one more value just to show you. 
that just giving some random value this i will add when i start the test so what i'm trying to show you you can see here now i have one row i will test it one more time and this row will also get inserted so let me click on the test waiting for the test to start okay. now we will use state it will it will it should trigger the composer okay it's already triggered so these are started executing now wait for some time Yeah, I think it's done now. Yes, the test finished. So see, now I have, see, I have now two values in, got inserted in this worksheet. So I hope you understand how HTTP connector with post method use can be used to invoke any HTTP endpoint from mules of composer flow and it is important because there are few connectors or there are handful of connectors are available in mules of composer flow which can be directly used but there can be some application which you want to, uh, to uh, connect to your mules of composer flow but there is no direct connector available within mules of composer so you can very well create a mule sort api on top of that application and then your it team can expose that api and from mule sort composer using this http connector you can invoke that application through this mule sort api and you can then do the further operation on your mule sort flow with that app including that application and that application will be part of your overall business process flow. So that's what it, there is. That's why this HTTP uh, connector is very much important. So it complements many things. I mean, if something is not there uh, directly available on the comp connector palette, you can still include that application using this HTTP connector. You can very well your IT team can very well create a mule sort API on top of it and expose it over HTTP request and uh, or HTTP endpoints, my bad. And that endpoint can be connect called from this mule sort composer through this connection. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. That definitely going to be a motivation factor for me. And very soon I will come up with the next video. Till then, thank you. Bye.